the needle slid into Zara's neck with practiced ease. She didn't even flinch anymore as the dopamine drip began its euphoric flow into her brain. A wave of blissful contentment washed over her, momentarily numbing the dread that had become her constant companion. In this twisted society, the government had found the ultimate way to control its citizens by keeping them in a perpetual state of artificial happiness. The dopamine drip, as it was called, was mandatory for everyone over the age of 18. Refusal meant imprisonment or worse. Zara remembered the early days when the drips were voluntary, marketed as a way to escape stress and anxiety. But as more and more people became addicted to the chemically induced euphoria, the government saw an opportunity for total control. They made the drips compulsory, slowly increasing the dosages until the population was little more than a herd of blissed out zombies. The higher the dose, the shorter the lifespan. Zara knew she didn't have much time left. Her body was already showing signs of deterioration and her mind was growing increasingly foggy. But in those rare moments of clarity, she remembered the resistance, a small band of rebels who had managed to escape the city and live dopamine free. As the artificial happiness coursed through her veins, Zara clung to the hope that one day she might find a way to join them and taste true freedom before the dopamine drip claimed her life.